the formation changes to a 4-2-3-1 with Georgian designated player Savalov needs a wide right 17 goal man Yorgos Yakamakis Darlington Nagby Aiden Morris side by side in the midfield and an attacking trio led by Cucho Hernandez Brad Guzan ready to go we get the signal from referee Chris Penso for this game that means everything to Atlanta trying to keep its season alive Matan let it go service from the far side by Rossi now headed across and a quick shot fired save made Guzan got to it the big stop on his former teammate Julian Grussell Lennon Love Janice. Hasetu out wide. Lennon operates there. Brooks Lennon curls this ball in and there's the goal! Yeah, Jorgos Yakamakis for a 1 0 lead. And now numbering in wide areas. It's exactly what he does. Sometimes the best thing to do is to stand still. And it's what Lennon does. The Columbus players go away from him. And how about that for a ball? It's a magnificent cross from Lennon that finds the space. And Yakumakis, as he's running towards that, he knows he's going to end up in the back of the net. From start to finish, that was brilliant from Atlanta. They were prepared to be patient. And Lennon finds his space, puts the ball into the box. And Yakumakis, wonderful header into the ground. And that's something that Yakumakis was starved up in the first game supply into the box because when he gets it that's what will happen Malte Amundsen into space not enough on that ball but Atlanta never properly collected quickly ahead is Moreira this is Rossi trying to dribble out of traffic gets this into the 18 Cucho tie game oh Cucho Hernandez makes Atlanta pay the price for the turnover and we are level late in the first half from Columbus and then Rossi does really well but then watch this first touch from Cucho it just takes Robinson out of the game it's absolutely magnificent sometimes people go well yeah okay it's a good first touch it's not it's better than that it's a wonderful first touch because it takes a great defender in Robinson out of the game opens the goal up and Guzan has absolutely no chance it's against the run of play but when you play a Columbus team that has so much talent going forward you know what to expect and his teammates all around because they know how big a goal that is. Ball won back by Atlanta initially. Gathered a second time. They'll work this ahead. Lord Janidze making the run. Flag stays down. Sabalo Janidze does well to control. Top of the 18. Lays it off. Yakobakis into space. Shot goal. Two to one Atlanta. Shande Silva with the big finish to the opening half. That means that Columbus are out of position. But look at your two wide plays. You've got Lope Janita, who does extremely well. And you've got Silver as well. They all come in really narrow, and they get around Yakumakis, who they know if he is given the ball and he's got teammates around him, he can find a teammate, and he does exactly that. You see Yakumakis here. He has the presence of mind to play it in to Silver, who then finds the back of the net. They outnumbered Columbus. Marrera's out of the game. Gressel's nowhere to be seen. Camacho can't get over quick enough because he's trying to take care of Yakumakis, but that's what happens when you catch teams in transition. Atlanta did that, and just when we thought Columbus were going to be going in the happiest of the two teams, my younger sorry or fortune sitting because Columbus starting to take advantage of other spaces. Almada sends that through. Yakumakis avoids one defender. Yakumakis across. Shandé Silva. Oh, he put it over the bar. He's been known to do it from distance. Instead to the foot of Matan, able to float this ball in. There's Moreira in the 18, quick shot fired over the bar. And there's that man again, Cucho, just missing a chance to level. He gives you that, that physicality, more of a focal point. So if you're your bow, if you're fast and you get yourself into a good position, it'd be well worth putting a cross in. Yakomakis, top of the 18, quick shot fired, and oh, the super sub does it. Moscana with the all insurance go he's had such an impact he had an impact on the draw here he had an impact 
in the first game, but it's all about the give and go. Muscari, he gets the ball, he gives it to Yakamakis, and he thinks, right, can I get this back? He has to hold his run. He has to hold it because the ball back from Yakamakis isn't perfect. That makes the finish even better. But it's wonderful from Muscara. Here's the man of the hour, Mosquera. Wiley plays it ahead. Tiago Almada in his playoff debut. Can he give us the cherry on the Sunday? Oh, yeah! It's back to Ohio. 4-1 Atlanta United. It's give this man space. He's so clever at finding where the spaces are on a pitch. Well, you just see the speed, the speed that he has there, because you're thinking to yourself, Marrera is going to make sure that he stays going wide. But Almada, such a wonderful finish. At times, players will have too much time on their hands. He can have all the time in the world, and he still knows what he's going to do. And that is the icing on the cake. This ball drops and a quick shot fired in. Oh, it might be window dressing, but that's Max Artson into the match moments ago who fires it past Guzan. You see he's just hanging around, just away from that penalty spot, keeps his eye on the ball all the way through. And just helps it on with his left foot and finds the far corner. One thing though, from Gonzalo Pineda's perspective, wherever it was 4-1 at the time, it's poor marking. Although you could certainly argue that the odds are that that's the case. They could potentially host Nashville in a conference semifinal the next round. There are several teams they could host if they got as far as MLS.